I did. I just, and it's perfect because I just started filming, so that'll be on here too. Anyway, I'm watching, or oh, I just finished watching Magical Christmas Village. I watched it all in one gulp. So that's got to say something, right? Like I didn't have to put it down and walk away and go do something else. I mean, well, I did have to pause it a couple times to do stuff, but so my kid started watching it because my kid's a Luke McFarlane fan, but the kid also had to bounce because no, that was a no. Um, for me, however, it is a, it's going to be a mixed, I'm such a mess. It's going to be a mixed, a mixed reaction. So let's just take what I like. The best was the last eight minutes of the movie because there was one part that made me laugh out loud and then the romantic part because spoiler alert not um, it has a happy ending so the happy ending with Luke and Allison Sweeney is very sweet it's very cute I enjoyed it very much so, um, the premise is that basically Marlo Thomas, who plays Allison Sweeney's mom, uh, she's been, she had been living with a guy who left to go move to be closer. They broke up and he moved to another state and he sold his house. And so she needs to move in with Allison Sweeney and Allison Sweeney's daughter. And she brings all her stuff. And one of the things that she brings is this Christmas village, which is why this is called a magical Christmas village, because basically what happens is that the daughter kind of as my kid said because I was saying this is kind of like I said okay the daughter's a witch and this is like a Christmas Ouija board like basically which is a bad analogy and my kid said it's more like a voodoo doll but like the whole town because the Christmas village was built by Marlo Thomas's like great great grandfather or something like that and so it's the actual town that they live in and so when the daughter puts the figurines and stuff in a certain place, then later, like, Alice and Sweeney and Luke are in that place or something. Like, at the end, I am spoiling it. So I'll say, it. I mean, you know, I'll, yeah. okay, it's so hard to do this sometimes because it's like, I don't you already know this part because it says right there in the thing real life events seems to mimic the scenes okay so there's that but i don't know i i don't know what to make of this movie like i did not hate the movie i do like the two allison and luke are enough to make me watch it marlo thomas is like amazing that she's here doing stuff she's 84 years old there's been a lot of work done on her face and it was giving me like latoya jackson and it was like taking me out of the movie because i was so distracted i mean she looks amazing considering she's 84 years old but at the same time you know, who knows? First of all, I should be so lucky to even make it to 84. Second of all, like, because that's, that's like another 32 years from now. Second of all, if I did, who knows? Perhaps by the time I get to be 84, I'll be like, oh, you can give me this filler. You give me that filler. You give me this Botox. You can give me all of these things. Like, maybe I will be like Marlo Thomas and just be like, I'm doing everything to not make my face like be like 84 but it was it was a little distracting she's her character's kind of fun she's supposed to be this free spirit kind of person and that's the other the side story that's going on is basically like 
Allison's resentment over kind of having to take care of her because she was sort of a free spirit type of person. And like after her dad died, like she was the one who had to make sure bills got paid and stuff but because mom was too busy, like, you know, kind of like me, like not being a gr great at <laughs> adulting. <laughs> so whatever, there's that side story of it's a comp, they have a complicated relationship. Um, I all, I liked her, she, uh, Allison Sweeney's sister, I liked the, that she, she was married to a black dude and that they had their mixed kids because, you know, um, that's always fun. Hashtag diversity and such. Um, I don't know. So I don't know. It's. I'm going to. I don't know. I almost feel. Oh, and then I have this question because Marlo Thomas's character and Luke McFarlane keep meeting all over. Like they're trying to talk, you know, bring this that there's fate involved with things and stuff. And Marlo Thomas and Luke keep meeting like all over the place without realizing that Luke is dating Marlon Thomas's daughter. And I was like, why did, I wasn't even sure why we needed to have that component. So, I mean, whatever. I have, it's a Hallmark movie. I have questions that can't get answered. And I kind of feel like you could just put this on, do your, do your hold the laundry and then like but super pay attention for like the last like eight to nine minutes that's the best that i can tell you so um yeah this weekend i think i'm going to just post some more reviews as i do them just for grins just to be something different so i'm going to go ahead and say thanks for listening uh let me know what you thought and um maybe i'll be back well i don't know if i'll be back tomorrow there's two movies tomorrow night so i don't know but uh, I'll be back at some point with some more. Okay? So, as always, thanks for listening.